Y'all have already told me the saddest news ever. Apparently they only gave me one grape jelly. And of course I have no grape jellies in my drawer. I'm supposed to eat this Chick-fil-A biscuit with one grape jelly. Did you tell you guys that you also got me a McDonald's coffee? I, uh, I forgot to start the vlog with that. Oh, well, never mind. He didn't video anything. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, McDonald's coffee with chicken lay back wrist. Let's try to find someone's house. Y'all, I said every time we go to McDonald's, but it, no more is true than today. They need more than two sauce. Mm -hmm. Just saying, that line was so long. Guys, Byron committed a no-no. He showed me the Greyhounds. Oh my god, they're so cute. This is a really pretty black one. Oh my god, they're so adorable. It says foster or adopt me. I was gonna pet it, but then I told Byron I'd want to take it home. They're so adorable. All the old school cars. That's really neat. Sorry, I didn't know you were I didn't know you were gonna continue walking. I was afraid about leaving you. The, that place is pretty neat. They have uh, different colleges, which they do have something. And they go around and take like different pictures of like different stuff on the campus and they make it into like one big collage, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is brown chihuahua behind us. Not even a chihuahua, it looks almost like it could be mixed with almost the same stuff as Tim Sam. It just keeps barking at every dog. I told Byron, I was like, see, our dog's not the only one that has attitude problems. <laughs> cool. cool yourself off. You wanna go cool yourself off? Yeah, I know, it looks nice. It does I'm look, thinking about it. It does look really nice. The performance going on over there is a really cool wood tent over there with like baseball bats and stuff. We lost our shade and our breeze. Look at it, look at it, it's really pretty. I hope the audience saw you run. Brian said we can't. Are you running? Brian said we can't go back by the greenhouse. You just said that if you go the greenhouse, you can take it. I would. I would want to take it home. They're so pretty. They don't break your heart like that. I know. We saw somebody walking with like their two pet greyhounds. And Byron's like, oh, baby, they just adopted them. I'm like, I don't really think they let you just leave with them. But oh, if they did. I'll meet you at the car. Guys, there was the Arts Fest. It was a very, very long walk. Cape Coral Arts Fest. You guys are definitely the biggest. I don't know. Fort Myers might be just as big. They just do like side roads. It's probably of Venice, the one that we went when we first moved here. New old school clock. They like those down here. Those are the nicest like a, Nathan's. Like a Shake Shack McDonald's mix the way they have the the the, the way it's built. Oh yeah, that's that's probably really the nicest one I've ever seen. But we're in Cape Coral, which we always just thought Cape Coral was the Sam's that we used to go to and Popeyes really about it we've tried to look for their city but we just had to go all the way to the south yeah so apparently when we was looking up the arts fest for this weekend we found it so now we're just kind of driving through it on the way here they had shut down the highway that to get here so we had to go like around and then we set a bunch of traffic at least we fell parking so we got a coupon and we want to try this place out called richard's They even have chipotle kind. You have chipotle. You're a chipotle. I like the little flashing lights weird in here. Yeah, that, that's our guys. Awesome. I look for butter. Right? Butter. They make veggie stick chips here. I definitely want to try that. That's something I want to try at some point. Well, Brian's on this. He just walked right into me. Stop going to push me on the shelf. No one has done. Now we will spend $30 here buying some whole wheat green stuff. Yeah, my veggie chips. I call them veggie stick chips just because I'm so used to veggie sticks. I do like all the old school writing though, like on the restrooms and stuff. It's really cool. This is what happens when you play tug of war with Timmy and there's a monkey involved. Monkeys have that little string, you know, when they uh, get hung up at the store. So I put my finger in it, which probably wasn't the smartest thing and when you would pull on it and turn my little pinky. So Chewy's came today. And Sparkers is like uber excited about it. He loves when Chewy's comes. It's like he knows it's his. And we also had to replenish on dry food because he's been running low on his free feed. So he probably also smells that and he loves his free feed. There you go, yay! Okay, now someone just... Uh... <laughs> it's like someone open it, take it out, thanks.
You're a mess. Oh, Y'all, look at the moon tonight. That thing is huge. The other night, I told Byron that like, I could see the whole backyard, and I guess it was the, what did you say it was, big moon? Gold I don't moon? Know what it's called. Yellow it's moon? Harvest moon? No, harvest moon's in the fall. It was a big moon, and I could see everything, and it still looks pretty big now. Okay, so we're being bad one last time before we go to the doctors on Wednesday and find out just how bad we are. But we are going to go and get a pizza, because I've been craving pizza, and like before... Byron's technically doing keto. I'm doing like keto adjacent, but before we start, I was like, I gotta get my pizza in. Ooh, look at the line. Oh, one more time. Y'all, yeah, my husband's over there breathing some fire. Ooh, buffalo sauce. I have this uh, buffalo sauce we used for our wings that we did in the air fryer. Really good, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> they were. Sauce is tasty. It's really tasty. It's hot, but it's like a slow burn. It's not like, oh my God, my mouth's on fire. It's like, oh my God. Why is it not going away? Well, I feel like tasty ones you also keep eating because you're like, oh, it's so good. Yeah. You don't realize it. All right, guys. So we just got done watching some of our shows. We're a little behind on shows because Byron was out of town last week. You were out of town last week. <laughs> Whatever. I thought the Christmas movies all week. With uh, he went up to Atlanta for a couple days. Uh, we finished Jack Ryan last weekend. I'm not gonna say how good that show is. So good. Cause I don't want my husband to know. But it was so good. Like. We were supposed, because we've been watching one of that and one of you, and we were supposed to watch another you that night, but I was like, ah, let's just finish it before you leave, because we had to finish it. It was so good. So tonight we watched a you, so we have two episodes left, and I'm getting to the point with you where I'm like, oh, I know what's coming, and I want to get it there, so we can move on to season two. But anyways, guys, we'll see you all next weekend for either, you, I think, a fair? A fair or a fest. Fair or an arts fest. I think it's a Fair. I think it's fair. I'm not sure. We probably have to write this stuff down in my new weekly planner that I got that I love. Um, we weren't originally going to actually vlog this weekend. Then after Byron got back, he was talking about the arts festival. And we never, like I said, we've never really been to Cape Coral except to go to Sam's and the Popeyes that made me sick. Never really thought there was a town center, so we thought that'd be kind of cool to check that out. So we came back a week early. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Has a great week ahead. Also, I hope everybody that was in those storms today, I hope it moved through and nothing too bad. I saw some people lost some power. All of our families are good that are in Georgia. And for people who have snow, I'm so jealous. I thought tornadoes had like tore through like Oklahoma and Texas and stuff. And then I woke up this morning and two of my friends had snow. I'm going to play this game for a little bit. I'm going to go watch another Christmas movie. Friday is my hard cutoff. For old Christmas movies, new Christmas movies I'm going to be able to hold on to because I haven't seen them yet. And of course Hallmark plays their Christmas movies on Thursdays and Fridays anyways. We'll see y'all next week. Bye.